Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today I have with me Dr. Walla Elasuti, and he is a consultant orthopedic spinal surgeon. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Thank you, Jay. So we're going to be talking about scoliosis. For our viewers who don't know what this condition is, can you please elaborate? Scoliosis is basically an abnormal curvature of the spine. So the normal curvature, if you look at the spine from the front, should be straight. If you look at it from the side, should have normal curves. But in scoliosis, the spine is not as straight as it should be. It's actually twisted. So it is a three-dimensional deformity where if you look from the front, you see a curvature. And if you look from the back, you can see what we call it sometimes the ruham that one side of the back can be higher than the other. What causes this condition? There are many causes that can cause scoliosis. The most common one, which accounts for 85% maybe of it in the time, are what we call it idiopathic, which is not really known in term, but idiopathic, we know lately that there are some genetic factors behind it. Other causes that can ha cause scoliosis as well, if a child is born with a congenital anomaly in the vertebrae, mm. causing asymmetry in the growth, children who are affected with neuromuscular disorders like cerebral palsy and others and sometimes also it may happen after trauma like accidents or after sometimes some kind of other conditions that affect the spine but that's a very uncommon one the common one are the idiopathic which is mainly a genetic thing what are some of the side effects or manifestations of yeah. scoliosis? The idiopathic one, it doesn't really affect much unless it gets into a really severe stage where it may affect the lung. Like if my spine is so much going to the side, this lung has no much space. Right. So it may affect, but that's only in a very severe case, right. which fortunately is not that common because with the awareness we're trying to do, we're trying to identify cases as early as possible to do the proper treatment to avoid them from going to that severe state. One of the very common questions we get as well, like especially it's happening in girls, like always a mother concerns, are my girls going to be able to have kids when she grow up? Is it going to affect the, any problem in the future? And the answer is no. Once you have detected mm. that an individual has scoliosis, mm. can you determine how severe, how, how bad it can get? Actually, as the science advancing, we had a lot of researches on the and studies done on what we call it a natural history of the scoliosis. We need to know if this curve is going to get worse or is going to get stable. And if we are having data that shows that this curve is going to get very badly increasing, then we know that we should interfere or stop it here before it goes worse. Basically, to make it very simple, the younger the age that we identify the scoliosis at, the higher the chances for the curve to grow. So a child at 9, 10 years old having a much higher potential to grow than someone who is 18 or 20 years old. The second thing that really matters, how big was the curve when we first identify it? So if we first identify a scoliosis of 10, 15 degrees, we usually know that it's going to be going very slow and it's not going to go bad. But if I have a kid who presented for the first time with a curve 50, 60 degrees and he's 12, 13 years old or 10 years old, we know that has a very high chance to grow fast. So early detection mm -hmm. is the key of determining how yeah, much of a twist it can get or how severe it can be. Well, thank you very much for this insightful information, doctor. Yeah. For all of our viewers, mm -hmm. if you've got any thoughts, comments or questions about scoliosis, please leave them in the comment section down below. And stay tuned because we're doing a follow-up series on this subject matter. And the next webisode is going to be about detection. How can you see and identify scoliosis, whether you're a parent, you're a school teacher, and a doctor. Thanks for watching The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.